Hey everybody, Kevin here with Stag's Lapidary again. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and make a quick video, as quick as possible, showing some new material that I have. Um, and it's primarily picture Jasper in this video that I'm going to be working with. Uh, I'm going to make a cab start to finish. Um, this piece that I got here, um, originally about 20 pounds. And as you can see, I've already got that one marked. Uh, that's the one I'll be making, uh, either for a bronze or an antique silver oval pendant. So I wanted to make a quick video here of kind of uh, the, the picture Jasper being made and also a couple uh, little things that I'm working with here uh, and some new pieces that I've got in. Um, a few upgrades since the last video also. Um, so I'll run through those real quick and then we'll get started on the picture Jasper. The first thing here that's really helped already is a 35 gallon drum, <clears throat> which I mentioned I was trying to do in the last video, um, but it's saved a lot of time and I've cabbed quite a bit since installing this and it's, there's the level it's at right there, all the way at the top, so just saving a lot of time on refilling buckets and everything like that. Um, also, quickly, there's a flat lap I just built, uh, and I'm still working on, but you can see I have it on the, the belt drive there. I'm hoping that's going to save a lot of time with um, bookends and, and larger slabs and things like that. Uh, the last thing is 125 pounds of petrified wood here, and really nice pieces. I'm looking to start playing with some new ideas with these, um, but there's nice color in there, and here are the two largest pieces. Um, this one in the back weighs just over 60 pounds, so those are nice. But anyways, so I'll go ahead and get going on the picture, Jasper. Like I said, I'm going to make it a quick video. Um, if you want to see a more in-depth video on a cab being made, I do have another one on YouTube. Uh, it's a snowflake obsidian circle. And uh, that one is very nice. And it's it's a longer video, but it kind of goes through a more in-depth, step-by-step process. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. All right, so after a little bit more polishing here, um, you can see where it came off the slab. And a perfect fit into the setting. All right, so I've already started doming this one here, and it's probably gonna be a little too thick of a slab uh, for this setting, but I do want a high dome on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the flat lap here, uh, 240 grit uh, diamond plate, and uh, we'll flatten it down some and then continue uh, doming the top. Alright, so I'm just finishing up switching out the wheels here. So I have a 1200 grit and 3000 grit, and then we'll move up to the 8000 and on from there. Um, it's looking pretty nice here, and let's get it polished up. All 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the 3000. As you can see, I'm, I don't know, I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to this, this material, but this soft spot here, I just spent the last, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes making sure that this soft spot's rounded in to the harder material here. And this picture, Jasper, is really cool because it has that greenish tint to it. Um, so I'm excited to see how the polish looks on it. Yeah, just to show you though, I mean, the, that's where a lot of the difficulty comes in uh, with these varying hardnesses. This is a perfect example of it. So uh, we'll move on here. All right, guys, so after a little bit more work with the diamond resin wheels here, um, you can see that it's already taking a nice polish just from those wheels, but um, the best thing for the Jaspers, especially with the, what I have found is uh, Linde, Slurry, um, and a leather wheel. Now, I've been using this little rotary wheel here, and it's been working great for me, so... Um, the Linde Slurry, a little bit of water with the powdered mix, and I uh, usually get the brush a little bit wet so it adheres a little bit better. And we'll brush it on and do our final polish.